Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge, and welcome back to Hotel Magne. So we did play this what seems like absolutely ages ago now, but when we played it last it was a very early preview build so we couldn't do too much with it. Whereas this here, this is the proper fancy pants demo so there is a lot more we can do with this. There's loads more items and very excitingly there are lots of decoration options. There are so many, there's so many floors and walls and things we can put all over the place. So yes we are going to make some wonderfully creative and interesting hotel rooms. I am very much looking forward to this. Now this was part of Steam's Next Fest Games Festival, but by the time this video goes out, that will be over. It will be all done and dusted, I'm afraid, so I think the demo will be unavailable. But of course, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below, so you can wishlist the game, and maybe the demo will be available again in the future. Who knows? I'm not entirely sure. Anyhow, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's go make a hotel and hopefully welcome our first guests. And here we go. So we have ourselves a welcome message from this person just here. This person, by the way, who is wearing a hat at a very jaunty angle indeed. Look at that. That is very impressive. That is the jauntiest of all the angles. I'm not entirely sure, if I'm honest, how that is remaining on your head. Because really, by rights, gravity should take that hat and throw it to the floor. But no, it remains on your head. It's very impressive. It must be fixed on in some way by, I don't know, super glue or staples or whatever. But whatever the case, it's very impressive. Congratulations on your fancy jaunty hattedness. It is very good. Anyway, so what does the message say? It says, welcome candidate seven, which does imply that there were six previous candidates which also then implies that they are scraping the bottom of the barrel a bit if we're coming in at number seven. But okay, this is your recruitment test for joining the Magnate family as a hotel manager. I got this plot for you to see if you can get the business running. Here is 100 grand in spare change. <laughs> wow, 100 grand in spare change. Just found it on the back of the sofa. Okay, thank you. That seems like a lot. Make it work. I mean, we'll give it a go. Oh, and you should probably start with putting a lobby and setting up a reception. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's a good place to start. Okie doke. Right, so here we go. Here is our lovely mountain spot. It looks very nice indeed. We've got ourselves a parking lot down there and we have a couple of sort of advertising boards by the look of it and then a nice sign. I like the sign, you know, it's got a couple of shades of blue. It's got a pointy bit. It says hotel. I mean, at the moment it's a lie because there is no hotel unless you're camping out here or whatever, but we'll change that. Let's get something built over here. So job number one, build a working reception. We can absolutely do that. So with this game, you can build rooms of any shape, really. You don't have to have them as a, you know, a square or a rectangle or whatever. They can be whatever shape you like because the build tool is relatively flexible. So you can just have a straight wall. That's nice. Yay for a straight wall. You could have it going that way, but you can also have it going off at angles. So you can go, yep, yeah, there you go. That wall is going off at a 45 degree angle, but also it can go over there if you like, at whatever angle that is, or like that, or like that. You can have them going for however long, however short, and whatever angle you like, which does mean you can build, you know, all sorts of different shaped rooms, which I do quite like. So I thought rather than having just, you know, a regular, you know, a square reception or a rectangular one, Let's have a reception that is octagonal. Why don't we do that? That sounds fun because that's a bit different, isn't it? That'll leave an impression on the visitors. So how about we go and grab ourselves a wall. Now, where is sort of the middle of our parking lot? How many sort of spaces have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I think around the middle of here, around the middle of this space is sort of the middle of the, the parking lot. So how about we build it back a bit? We'll put it back away from the parking lot a bit so we can have a nice outside bit with plants and a path and such. So how about we go here? So let's have, I don't know, I think that's sort of the middle. So we'll have three going that way and then three going that way. And there we go. So we have our first bit of wall and that is where the doors can go. So we'll have a door sort of there and a door there. That'll be quite nice. Or a big revolving door in the middle or whatever. That'll be quite good. And then I think we'll just go up like that. So that's three, four, five, six. Very nice. And then tilt it round on the camera. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then again, at an angle like this. So three, four, five, six. Is this going to work? This is never going to match up, is it? Three, four, five, six. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. This isn't going to work, is it? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Hang on a minute. Is this actually going to work? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness me. And there we go. We have ourselves our reception. I mean, okay, it's not working yet. There's no, you know, door or anything like that, but that's fine. Let's get a door in. I like that. I think that looks very good. Right, let's get some doors in. So revolving doors would be ideal. However, 
It doesn't look like we can have revolving doors yet. That's a bit of a shame. Um, let's have... They're quite nice. So glass doors, they'll let the light in. So they'll make the room feel all light and airy. And they've got a nice sort of light wood outside as well. Because we want it to feel, you know, sort of happy and bright and cheerful. We don't want these dark colours. That's not what this place is about. So let's get a door. Uh, okay, so we'll put one. We could put some in the middle. But I kind of like the idea of having that one there. And then having that one there. I like that. We could put some around the side. Could we put some doors round the side? That would be good. And then you can walk in from either here or there or there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. How much money have we got left? 90. Oh, we've got loads of money left. It's absolutely fine. Yeah, so let's put one. I think it was control click to multiple place, wasn't it? So one there. And then, yes, yeah, leave a slightly bigger gap. Yes. Perfect. Okay, yeah, this, this is wonderful. I like this. Right, so one there. Slightly bigger gap. Slightly bigger gap. And like that. Okay, yeah, that looks very good. I like that. Okay, so now open the room detail by clicking on the floor of the reception. Okay. Uh, okay, select the reception facility. Right, okay. Ah, right. We need to put in some reception-y stuff. Um, so we need a reception desk. Okay, that's fine. Can we not do the walls and the floors and stuff? I kind of want to get that done. Um, okay, so basic reception. Looks okay. Or a good re Oh, look at the good reception. The good reception is much better. We will push the boat out to get the good reception. Although actually they're the same price. Why would you why would you pick the basic reception when you can have this amazing thing? Uh, no, we'll have the good reception, please. There we go. And we'll put it in. I like the way that when it's on the cursor, it sort of bobs around. It floats about. That's quite fun. Um, and if I remember rightly, yes, it does have the lovely uh, sort of 360 degree rotation. So it's not snapping to grids and things. I think it can do. You can turn all the snapping on if you want to, but we're not going to. Right, let's put that sort of as much in the middle as we can sort of get it. So about there, I think. That looks quite nice. We'll have that. Although where do people go? Yeah, it looks like that's about right, I think. That's about right. We'll put that there. And there we go. We now have ourselves a reception. Um, I think, is it telling us to go and get people? It might be making us go and hire somebody, I suspect. Uh, yeah, okay. Hire some staff. Right, hang on. We'll hire the staff and then we'll get all of the... No, do you know what? I want to do the decor now. Away with you, staff. Away with you. Let's do the decor because this is more important. Right, okay. Let's go for... Let's go for the walls on the inside. And here we go. The staff can wait because we can put in one of these many, many walls. And there are so many different types Look how many different types of wall there are. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. So you've got, you know, your solid colours, which is nice. Or you've got your yeah, sort of uh, yeah, pattern type things. I mean, that is, that has a certain charm to it. A red and white flower pattern does look very nice. Oh, I'm quite tempted by that. I'm quite tempted by that. What's down here? What is that? Wallpaper funky large. Oh, this is brilliant. White ceramic tiles. Mm, I'm not such a fan of those. Now, down here, there were some fun ones. What's that? That's... That is amazing. I'd rather have that as a floor. I'd rather have that as flooring, if I'm honest. Uh, what is that? Large watermelon bits. I quite like that. I do quite like that. What is that? That is lightning wallpaper. Okay, that's good. That is sort of squiggles and some other squiggles. That does look a bit like, you know, the inside has been attacked by a child with a marker pen. Um, I quite like that. That looks okay. That looks okay. You've got sprinkles. There are so many. There are so many things. Lemons on the wall. You can have lemons. <laughs> More fruit wallpaper. Okay. Right. We need to we need to decide something because otherwise we're going to be here all day just looking at these things. Um, how about how about we have? I did quite like that. I do quite like that. I like having the idea of watermelons on the wall. That's quite fun. Let's have that because it's bright and colourful and cheerful, and I like it. Let's have that. There we go. We've got watermelons on the wall. Oh, we need to do the outside. We need to do the outside. Um, how about... How about that on the outside? There we go. So, yeah, rather than it being on the inside with a child with a pen, it's been graffitied by somebody else with a pen on the outside. Let's have that. I like that. And then we need the floor. And again, there are many, many types of floor. We've got the solid colour floorings. We've got carpets. We've got whatever that is. Patterned carpet raindrops. No, thank you. And um, we've got hexagonal tile type things. Hang on. What's over here? Patterned carpet lemon rain. 
<laughs> Why are lemons so prominent in this? Why are lemons on various bits of decor? I don't really know. Um, some, that's a bit boring. Don't want that. Uh, what is that? Modern tiles. Mm, that's a bit boring, isn't it? Um, aha, right here. What about, oh, hang on, what's that? That's eggs. Oh, and it's got excellent on it. It's got a pun. Oh, that looks, that looks quite fabulously terrible, doesn't it? I, we might go for that. Okay, right, hang on. That's the current winner. Um, some sort of animal print. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> In its own unique, special way. Oh my goodness me, that is brilliant. Um, or just some regular lemons. Um, no, but I like this. I like that. Let's go for that. Because green and pink go well with the sort of, uh, whatever that is. What, the light orangey walls? Okay, yeah, we'll have that, please. <laughs> That's, yes, that is perfect. Um, okay, right, can we put some more stuff in here? Are we allowed some more stuff? Do you know what? Let's do what the thing is telling us to do because there's a red sort of alert thing on it. Uh, right, I think we're supposed to be hiring some people. Okay, hire some staff. Okay, so these are receptionist staff, I guess. That's what that means. So, you know, check in people. So, um, Carmine Cheno, Mozel Masaro, Princess Piedra, uh, Eldon Escalante. Are they all Are they all alliterative? I like that. All the names are, you know, P, P, E, E, T, T, whatever. Um... Okay, let's get someone in that's not... I mean, yeah, you're very good, I assume. You are four out of five good at doing the doing the receptioning. But um, I imagine... Is that your wage? So we're going to pay you 600 a day, and it's going to cost 16,000 16, to hire you. Ouch. That's quite expensive. Let's get... Is there a three-star person? I don't know if there is. No, we'll get a two-star person. We'll get... Um, who can we get? I mean, Princess Piedra. She sounds good. She's 300 per day and 1,800 to hire. And she's not a one-star. She's a two-star. So, you know, she's a bit better at greeting people and sorting out rooms and stuff. Yeah, okay, we'll get you. Objective complete. Build the working reception. And we get three grand for that. Oh, thank you very much. Bold colour choice for your interior decor. Would you expect anything less? Jaunty hat person. But it seems to be coming along nicely. Make sure to provide bedrooms with variety for different guests. And don't forget to spread the word. Okay, so is that some sort of marketing type thing? So what does it want us to do now? Build three rooms, select them, and add a bedroom facility to them. Okay, so now we need three rooms. The only thing is, this is looking a bit empty. This is looking a little bit sad and empty. So we will sort this out, I think. I think... <gasps> There's a person. Is that Princess? Hi, Princess. There you go. You're coming into work. Right, hang on a second. Time is paused. You've magically teleported into the car park. Well done. But, uh, but yeah, hang on a sec. Right outside let's get the outside done because we need some flooring here so how about um outside flooring that looks that looks nice should we have that yeah we're having that 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 looks okay that does not look too bad at all how much is this stuff i think it's relatively cheap hang on 92,796 it's one dollar per tile okay now the only thing is how is that going to work if i put uh, that's fine, but if I put a bit there, it's not going to go inside, is it? No. It's aware that that is split up. Oh, that's quite good. Oh, I like that. Right, so yeah, so if we just build a bit out here like this. Okay, right, so that's looking good over there. That looks nice. And then we want some trees and things. So furniture. Um, Trees. That looks like trees. Outdoor. That would work. So let's put some things. That's a massive stone. I mean, that that's quite big. No, I don't want the massive stone <laughs> That's a bit too big, I think. Um, how about some of these things? Um, yeah. Outdoor garden bed. Yes. That looks quite nice. Can we just have multiple of those? Just sort of popped in down here. That, yeah. Like that. That is... That's perfect. Yeah. That one there, I don't remember putting that one there. Um, hang on. <laughs> oh, no, hang on. No, that's the cursor. No, that's what we've got on the cursor. It's just sort of... It got a bit of a problem because we went into the, um, into the car park with it. Yes, there we go. Let's drop another one in there. And another one onto there. And there we go. We have ourselves a nice little sort of a nice walkway on the way in. Surrounded by lovely greenery. There we go. That is good. That is very good. Oh, look. There's like sunbed type things and arches and things. Oh, why are they locked away? Oh, that's just a bit mean, isn't it? Um, an outdoor light. That might be quite useful. Can we put some of those over? Can we have one there? Oh, I didn't, um, I didn't multiple press it. Um, and one there. 
Well, I've one up at the top as well, just to cast a bit of light through the through the leaves and stuff. Okay, right, there we go. I think the outside is looking okay. Not perfect, but it will do for now. You've got a nice sort of way in. Have we got a sign? Can we put... So that looks like decor. Can we put a thing saying hotel at the front? Because that would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, no, doesn't look like we can. Oh, hotel map. I mean, that says hotel on it. We'll just pretend that that's a hotel sign. There we go. We've hung a picture outside, you know, like you do. <laughs> like everyone does, it's fine. Um, right, okay, right, hang on. Now we need to do the inside of here because this is lovely and vast, but it's a bit boring right now. So how about we get... I mean, where are the doors going to go for the bedrooms? I'm thinking the bedroom should go along... I mean, we could come out the back there, couldn't we? We could go out the back and then have bedrooms kind of on one side, if you like. That would make sense. So how about, hang on, let's just try and plan that in. So let's go to there and we'll get ourselves, how much money have we got? 87 grand, loads of money. Right, okay, this is all fine. So come down to there for now, provisionally, all the way down to there and like that. Lovely, lovely corridor. Do like a nice corridor. Right, and then we can have other rooms coming off here. We can have other rooms coming out of here. I'd quite like that. So I think, can we build other rooms? Bathroom, a bar, a bar. We can have a bar. I think, yeah, we'll attach a bar onto one of these bits that stick out just here. The bar could be just here, say. That would be quite good. Yeah, okay, so the rooms can go over that side. Um, so now we know that we need some doors. So let us get a couple of doors. Let's again get the lovely light, sort of airy looking ones. We'll have one there and one there. That is very lovely. Um, and then, yes, now we can sort out maybe what we're doing in here. Hang on. How about we just put other doors in as well? We'll put a door there and a door there. We won't put doors over there because there's going to be rooms going over that way. So that's fine. And then we'll put a door there and a door there. Oh, that's lovely. It's very nice. And now I think we need somewhere to sit. We need some little sort of seating areas if we can find such things. Um, miscellaneous. What is in there? A, a vending machine, you say? Okay. Yep, yeah, absolutely. We'll have a vending machine. We'll try and put it against that wall. Let's have a couple of them. Can we do that? It's unreachable, apparently. Really? The vending machine that's just there, right there, with nothing in the way. Oh, what's going on with the snapping? Oh, hang on. What's going on with that? Um, snap to wall isn't working. Align to other objects isn't working either. We'll just... Ooh, it's sliding all over the place. Well, hang on a minute. We'll just put that... Um, I don't know why we can't put it where we'd like it. We'll put it just... Can we put it against the wall right there? There we go. Right. So now they are reachable, apparently. Okay. Right. And now can we have a thing in the middle? Like a... I mean, yeah. It says outdoor, but I want like a plant or something in there. They look like... Well, that says indoor. They're indoor plants. They're not outdoor plants, game. Right, so um, let's have sort of a row of... Maybe we'll have a row of those across there, which is nice. Or maybe we won't have a row of those. I assume that tree is interfering in some way. I guess that tree is causing us some problems. Okay, do you know what? We'll, we'll put a picture on the wall or something. It's fine, game. It's fine. Get us a nice picture of some stripes. No, no, no. Hang on a minute. Right. Hang on a minute, game. Uh, bulldoze that tree. Away with that tree. No, we're not allowed to take the trees down. Okay, right, that over there is just being a bit fussy. It's fine. Uh, right, can we have ourselves a nice little bit over here with some um, some chairs and such? Where are chairs? They must be in here somewhere. Comfort. There we go. Oh my goodness me. There are some wonderful, wonderful things. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that is brilliant. It's got all the colours on it. It's got all the colours we would ever need. Um, yeah, okay, how about then? We have ourselves, I know, one of them sort of over there. And then, yeah, we want another one. Actually, we don't want another one this side because that means that it'll get in the way of the doors. People coming through the doors are going to have to work their way round there. So how about we just have a couple like that and then we'll have ourselves a table in the middle if I can figure out where tables might be. Where might tables be in this list? There doesn't seem to be just a thing for you know, the lobby or whatever. Um, ah, there we go. 
Tables. Oh, they're massive dining tables. I don't want massive dining tables. Uh, right, hang on. There's got to be tables around here somewhere. I found a good coffee table. That will do the job, although we might put tea on it or whatever. But okay, that's fine. We'll pop that in just there. And then I did notice over here there were some nice rugs as well. I mean, that will go well with the floor. That's that's beautiful. There we go. Rota rotate it round. Thank you. Um, yeah, that can go... It's doing some weird snapping stuff. But that can go... Hang on a minute. Hang on. We want that to be... Uh, it's not rotating the way I kind of would like it to. Hang on. We'll rotate it over here and just put it underneath. That'll do. There we go. Oh, that looks lovely. I do like that. I mean, okay, that's not in the right place at all. Can we can we move that ever so slightly? And let's rotate it round ever so slightly. Yes, there we go. Much better. And then you move you to just there. Lovely. That's unreachable, apparently. No one can get to this. <laughs> okay, fine. Pop that there. Better. Okay, so a little sort of corner over there. And we have got a lot of space. Is there something like a fountain or something like that? I don't know. Or some big, some big kind of trees or anything like that. What can we put in to fill up this space? Because actually, yeah, in hindsight, this is, this is really quite huge. There we go. That is much better. That is much, much better. I mean, the obvious addition, really, the elephants in the room, I guess, are the two great big trees. I think they're supposed to go outside. I think they are outside trees, but the game has let us put them indoors, so we put them indoors, because why not? I mean, it does kind of raise the question of how high is the roof over here? Because they're quite big. They're quite big trees, they are. They're going up quite a way. So, yeah, the roof has got to be at least that high, I suppose. But that's fine. It makes it nice and airy, so that's lovely. We've got this bit over here. We saw this earlier with the vending machines. So if you're a little bit peckish, you could go and you grab something from one of those and sit down over here. We have got ourselves a lovely area over here where you, know, you could sit. If you've got a great big party of people, you could all sit here. But maybe some of you aren't getting on. So you, know, you could sit back to back with your party of people. So you're still with them. You know, you're in proximity, but you don't have to face them. So that's quite nice. If you've had a long journey to get here and your tensions have been high in the car or whatever, then you could sit there. Then we've got ourselves just this classic kind of seating space over here. It looks really nice. There's lots of stripes. And then over here, we've got something a little bit different. I don't know. Let's say you've come in and you're utterly exhausted and the person over here is asking you lots of questions. You know, what's your name? How long are you staying for? And you're just too tired. You can just go over here, collapse on that for a few minutes, just get a little tiny nap. Maybe get a power nap, a 20 minute power nap, and then wake up, come back over here and deal with all of the troublesome questions that you're being asked. I like that, a little sort of rest and recuperation area. And it's got a little wall around it and such, and a plant as well. So there we go. Right, so we've sorted out the lobby. I mean, we should really get on with building some sort of hotel room, shouldn't we? That's kind of what we're here for. <laughs> you spend all the time working on a lobby. Right, hang on though. We do need to sort out the walls over here. Right, outside walls again. Thank you. Right, floor and walls on the inside. Let's change it round. Let's have, let's have those on the wall. Let's have some lemons, some lovely lemons. And as well, sort of geek cupboard corporate colours. The blue isn't quite as, as corporate as it could be, but whatever the case. And then, um, and then flooring. What should we go for in here? I mean, we could just go for... <laughs> that just looks very odd. Oh, you can you can do the entire of the outside. Right, okay, let's not do that again. Right, there we go. That that does look okay. Is there anything better? Is there anything better? Can we have lemons with rain? There we go. This can be the lemon corridor. Um, and then we need some rooms. We need some actual rooms along here. So let's get this all set up. Um, so... Build some walls. So what have we got to do? Build three rooms, select them, and then add a bedroom facility to them. Okay. So we've got to add bedrooms to them. They're going to want some sort of ensuite type facilities as well, I imagine. So let's get them going all the way out there. We'll have a massive big sort of bit going out like that. That's fine. And then, so only three bedrooms. Okay, that's fine. But how big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Because that's what you come to the geek over for. Counting. Right, hang on. So six should be okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like that and finish that wall and then six this way so one two three four five six and then the middle one is going to be a tiny bit bigger isn't it one two three four five six seven just did that in my head everybody that was amazing yay maths with penge right doors let's have doors that you can't see through a blue door oh that sounds nice we'll put the doors i didn't press the right button to uh, to get it on properly there we go and one just there okay so doors on the way in also useful we are going to need something in that corridor. That corridor is a bit boring, isn't it? Hang on. Hang on. We could just have a couple of nice, nice sofas to sit on. Um, How about... Yeah, what about that? 
because that goes that goes really well. That clashes quite fabulously with the walls and stuff. Let's have some of that. I think that will do the job. So we just put some of those in, and then we'll have ourselves yeah, just one there and one there. Hang on, one along there and one along there, and then we'll just get some get some plants, get some nice plants. Let's get some um, some lovely decor type things. Hang on, there we go. They're the inside plants. Um, oh look at that. It's got like a proper sort of bed around it. Yeah, we'll have one of those, please. And we'll have one there. Okay, that's a bit better. Look, it's a bit more interesting walking in there now. Big wide corridor. Okay, three bedrooms. Um, we also need to try and cater a bathroom into this as well. We need to sort of work a bathroom in. So how about... Um, I don't know how big the bathrooms need to be. I would like to think that will be plenty of room for a bathroom. Come on, game. Okay, there we go. Thank you. And there. And there. Okay, so now, I mean, there is a tree in this bathroom. I assume when we put flooring down, the tree will go away. <laughs> I really hope so. Otherwise, it's going to be a feature. Um, and then let's have red doors to go into the bathroom. So red and red and red. Okay, right. Build three rooms, select them, and add a bedroom facility to them. Okay, so this is going to be, yeah, a bedroom. And that's going to be a bedroom. And that's going to be a bedroom. Okay, we've added a bedroom facility. Right, it's lacking beds. Kind of get that. That's fine. Um, and that's going to be an ensuite bathroom. That's going to be an ensuite bathroom. That's going to be an ensuite bathroom. Do we need to connect them up somehow? Add a new facility. Does it know? Does it know which one we're linked to? However, does it know which ensuite is linked to what room? Not entirely sure. Right. Okay. First things first, though. Very important. Not furniture. Um, yeah, walls and stuff. Okay. So, that, yeah, that can be a bathroom wall. That looks nice. That can be a bathroom wall. <laughs> and, see, I do like that. I think that's going to be a bedroom. That can be a bedroom wall. That can go in there. Um, what else have we got? Um, yeah, it's a bit dull, isn't it? Wooden walls. Oh, hang on, we could have, like... That looks okay. We'll have a wooden panelled room there. It's not the most exciting. Oh, I know what we need. No, what am I talking about? Hang on a minute. Uh, we'll have yellow and we'll have uh, sort of a blue. There you go. Geek cupboard, geek cupboard theme going on. That's fine. That's lovely. Right, we need wallpaper for that room. Um, how about what? Well, yeah, that. Absolutely that. That there. That's perfect. And then in here, how about in this room? We then have, hang on, can we come back this way? There's not a bright yellow floor. There's a yellow carpet, which is a little bit disappointing, if I'm honest. Um, and then a blue... Can we have a slightly brighter blue in there? Yeah, there we go. So, geek cupboard room done. Then we need some sort of other flooring going on over here. How about... Uh, no, hang on. Hexagons I want. Hexag <laughs> Hexagons in there. That just... That's going to make you feel nauseous. Yeah, we'll go for that, please. There we go, like that. And then we've got... Come on, where are all the really crazy, interesting ones? Um, we need something to go in there, which is going to look good. How about... Well, all these aren't as exciting as I was kind of hoping. They're all a bit... Yeah, the, the good ones are down here. What about some pink tiles? That's nice. And then in there, can we have something... I mean, something really lurid and bright in there would go quite well. There we go, like that. Wonderful. And then in here, let's have... Let's have eggs, because there we go. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Um, okay, right, we need to uh, we need to do something with the bedrooms now. I think we need to add beds. That would make sense. I mean, let's just add the best beds we've got. Oh my goodness me, these beds are amazing. Look at that, that bed is huge and it's brilliant. Okay, hang on a minute, hang on. We'll rotate that round so it's, yeah, in the middle there. Can we snap that? Um, hang on a minute. Rotate by 90 degrees. There we go. That might help when doing this. Yeah. Okay, so we'll pop that there. Wonderful. And then they can have that one. <laughs> I like that. It's like got a shell thing at the back. And they can have... Oh, no, hang on. What did that say? Shabby bed. Oh, no, no. That, that will never do. Good beds. Basic beds. Good beds. Good set. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Oh, I like that. There we go. So have three guests complete their stay at your hotel by making sure it is operational. Minimum requirements are an operational reception and one bedroom. Okay, we've got the reception set up. 
because Princess is there waiting to come in. She's sitting here trapped in time at the moment, but it's okay. Uh, right, I think the rooms might need some more stuff. Like, you know, things in the bathroom. Um, oh, is that all we can have? Is that all we can have in the bathrooms? Hang on a second, hang on. Is that it for bathrooms? Oh, that's a bit disappointing. All the bathrooms are going to look a little bit samey. Okay, right, bath... And a bath. That's still got a tree in it. <laughs> oh. Oh, hang on. The tree is causing some placement problems. Um, okay. Right, hang on. Hang on. Rotate it. Right, can we put... Where can we put this? <laughs> the tree is causing us a little bit of grief. Right, hang on. Put the put the thing there. That's all fine. Basic bath and shower. Oh. Basic shower. Right, that can go there. We'll put that one. Ah, a bit of variety. We'll, um, we'll rotate that round so that meets that. Um, yeah, that'll have to go there. And then I imagine we are going to need a toilet of some sort. Uh, right, let's put these on this wall for this side. So you can have a toilet. There can be a toilet just there. Over here, we'll put a toilet wherever it can fit. <laughs> just there, because the tree is causing some placement issues. That's all fine. And then I think a sink would be a, sink would be a sound acquisition for these places. So yeah, we'll put one just there. We'll have... Where's the where's the loo roll? There's no loo roll. That that makes me slightly uncomfortable. Where's the toilet roll? And then one there. Okay, so the bathrooms are up and running. They could do with a little bit of something, couldn't they? Can we not add some nice plants? Rugs. Got some nice rugs. Uh, yeah, okay, that rug there. And then a pink... Yes, perfect. A pink rug in there. Very nice. And then you can have that rug in there wonderful oh no the toilet is unreachable and the unreachable toilet right hang on a second let's just oh crikey's uh let's move that over ever so slightly is everything fine nope the toilet is still an issue right hang on a second hang on hang on we must be <laughs> we must be able to put this somewhere the sink has got to live somewhere it has to fit somewhere in it there that'll do the job it's by the door. It's all fine. Everything is good. Um, and then I feel like we should put a plant in the, in the loos as well. We'll have a plant there. And a plant just there. Uh, I mean, we'll put a plant in there. I kind of feel like there's enough plant in there for many people, but okay. And then the bedrooms do need something extra. They do need something extra. We'll put, we'll put a painting in. Put the same painting in each. No, we won't put... Okay, hang on. <laughs> that tree is causing some problems. Okay, so a painting in each one of those... What is that? A velvet rope pole? Oh, that's locked away. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Um, lighting. Oh, yeah, that might be helpful, might not it? Some lights. They would be useful. Floor lamps. Okay, hang on then. So, uh, floor lamp, floor lamp, floor lamp. Very nice. Um, and then what else can we put in here? So, I've got lighting in there. Um, they're the beds. So, in comfort. I mean, yeah, coffee tables would be good. We're going to call them tea tables, but, you know, tables would be sufficient. So how about we have some of those in the bedrooms? So we'll have that one there. We'll pop that one just there. And put that one there. And that's where you can put your things. Where's, like, televisions and things? Where's, like, and you know, little sort of you know, cupboards and tea and coffee making facilities and things? Because where are people going to hang their clothes when they turn up here? I'm not entirely sure. Bedroom just has... Oh, it's got side tables. Okay, we'll put a few of those down, because that would also make sense. Just drop some of those in. And this might allow us to charge a little bit more money. If we've got better things in our rooms, that might help out a bit. Um, utilities. What's that? Laundry machine. Storage shelf. I don't think that's for the... Um, that's not for the customers, though. I think that's sort of it. Where are the, where are the like, cupboards and things? I feel like there should be a cupboard. Um, hang on. Let's put some... Let's put a rug at the end of the bed. You can have, hang on a minute, that's not good enough. You can have that red one, because that looks nice. And you can have that blue one. Okay, right, how do we do this? Have three guests complete their stay. Do we need some more staff? Um, manage. I kind of feel like we need a cleaner or something. Staff. Uh, receptionist. Hang on, we're hiring a receptionist. Um, okay, right, hang on. Let's move time on. Let's press play. Let's get time and come out of this. Cause I think we've confused it. Move time on. Here we go. Hello, princess. Welcome. Which door are you going to choose? The door at the end. Well done. 
<laughs> Good choice. Nice. Right. So you're going to stand there. Oh, you stand here. I thought you kind of stood at the the zenith of the of the curly bit there, but but no, you're standing on this side. That's fine. That's okay. Um, I mean, how do we do? We need to make sure that it's all ready. I think yeah, you know, the rooms are certainly here. They're ready. We've got three bedrooms and they're linked to one suites. Is there anybody coming by? Anybody wanting to stay at the hotel? I'm not entirely sure. Um, ah, yes. Hello. Hello, person. Welcome. There you go. Oh, you do stand there. Oh, I like the, um, hang on. Is the spacebar pause? Um, no, it is not. That's unfortunate. But I like that. Look, you can zoom right in. You can get right down and you get the lovely sort of blurry sort of macro zoom lens, whatever it is. Oh, that looks wonderful. Look at that. Look at this. We've got people checking in. This is very good. Right. Okay. Please give them a room. I don't know how much we're charging or anything at all. Can we find that out? Can we find that out? Um, overview. Uh, manage guests. Facilities. Right. Bedroom. Ensuite. Bathroom. Okay. Bedroom. What does that do? Open facility detail. Can we see how much we're charging? Ah, there. Um, that's just saying we're not making any money on it. Maybe we can't determine that yet or something. I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know about that yet. Never mind. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What was what was that just there? What was that? Add a new facility. Um, choose ah, ensuite bathroom. Should that be linked to that? Ah, maybe they're now linked together. Possibly, I'm not entirely sure. Locate facility. I mean, that's valid and that's valid. I'm guessing they're linked together. They've got to be linked together. <laughs> Joe, you know what? We'll find out. We'll find out when people check in. Right, come on in, everybody. Come on in. Hotel's open. Uh, alerts. An ensuite bathroom is not functional. Okay. Why is that the case? Um, oh, hang on. No, hang on. Hang. Pause, 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 pause. I keep pressing spacebar. Right. It's saying that there should be an ensuite bathroom, but we want to tell it that that is the ensuite bathroom. Because it thinks that it's a separate ensuite bathroom. Hang on. Locate facility just there. Is that enough? No, it thinks there should be an extra one. Okay, delete that facility. Away goes that. Yeah, how do we link those two together? I'm not entirely sure we know how to do that yet. Okay, do you know what? It's fine. We'll see if this person uses the loon. If they do, then great. If not, we'll see what we can do with it. Okay, this is good news. So people have spent the night in the hotel and then in the morning they have gone to use their proper bathroom facilities that are actually attached to their rooms. So they're not wandering around outside or anything going, I need a shower. They've actually worked out that that is their ensuite. The game has sort of linked those two together. Okay, that's absolutely fine. That is good. What is going on with the bed? Why is the bed, the bed is making some sort of toxic stench. Um, clean. Can we, can we clean the bed? No. Oh, that bed's making a... That bed's got flies on it as well. <laughs> what What did you people do? What did you bring to this place? Why are the beds full of flies? Okay. Right. That's a little bit unexpected. Right. We need another person. We need another person to complete their stay at the hotel. Um, I mean, I don't know what else we can do. I think the guests are having a nice chat and they like going in and out of all the doors, which is fun. But, um, but yeah, I don't know what else we do now. We just need another guest. We need another person to turn up and enjoy one of our rooms. And right now, there's nobody around. So we'll just wait, I guess. We'll wait until a third person comes along and checks in. Oh, there's a comp guest button. What does that do? Should we have a look at what that means? Are we going to comp them? Does that mean we give them nice things? Does that mean we give them like, you know, extra fluffy kind of slippers or something? I don't know. They are sleeping on the beds with the general kind of grot coming out of them. Are they okay with that? I mean, they're getting on with it. They don't seem to be too bothered. I don't think that that's not going to be a good thing though, is it? There's somebody else checking in. There is another person checking in. Hello, Carrie. Hang on. Oh no, you're checking out. Was that Carrie Koga checking out possibly? Um, yeah, that was her checking out, I think. So now, yes, there you go. She's checked out. Okay, wonderful. There we go. So she's gone. So now we have two guests remaining to complete their stay. So yeah, so Anjanette Ansel, who is a furniture factory manager, is now over here. So she is in... What room are you in? We'll comp you as well. I don't know exactly what that means, but we'll do that because why not? Uh, right, so she's in the middle room. The middle room, which still does have the grot in the bed. 
So somebody else's grot is now in that bed and she's got to sleep in it. That's not going to make her very happy, is it? I don't quite know what that is. I mean, I kind of get the fact they're saying the bed isn't clean. You know, the bed isn't clean because somebody slept in it and housekeeping needs to come and do something with the bed. I mean, that does imply... That implies significantly worse <laughs> than just a slept-in bed. I mean, that is implying some sort of, you know, waste matter and flies. Uh, I mean, it seems extreme, but okay. I mean, right, well, we're on the fastest it can go. Just got to wait for these people to check out. Can we see how long they're staying for? Stay length of three, stay length of two. Okay, we'll just sort of sit about for a bit then and wait until they're done. Because, um, yeah, I don't think we can hire any more people. We need some staff, really, but I don't think we can do it until this is complete. So, uh, yeah, we'll just sort of sit about and wait then until they've had a fun stay at our lovely hotel. In fact, I think, are you going? You're checking out. So Jacqueline Jordan is on her way out. And then we've now just got the one guest. So hopefully at some point... Oh, now the bath... <laughs> the baths need a scrub as well. Okay, right, hang on a minute. We really do need a cleaner. Can we hire a cleaner, please? It would be very, very nice if we could get something a little bit clean. Ooh. Hang on. Have we got two guests? Yes, we have. We have another guest. I should probably just put it onto slow mode for a bit. So we've got, who are you? Leonie Lemons, a casino chain receptionist. I'm very busy inspecting this. I don't know what, but okay, good. Enjoy inspecting it. Right, can somebody just sort of check out, please, so we can move on with the objectives? There is a weird bit of floor just there. What's going on just there? I'm pretty sure we should have done the entire floor, but clearly not. Hang on a minute. Let's go and get our wonderful lemon. Oh, no, it's not that. Hang on. Um... Which one is it? It's a different flooring. It's further on, isn't it? Um, is it that one? Yeah. There you go. Fill in that gap. I don't know why there were two little bits of random flooring that were undone. But there we go. Never mind. Right. People are going to bed, which is wonderful. Do you know what we could do? We could add some windows over there into the um, into the bathrooms. Yeah, let's, let's add a few windows, shall we? Just make it nice and airy and light and such. There we go. Wonderful. So now you can open the window in the bathroom, which has got to be a good thing. Right, come out of that. Move time on. Let's get somebody checking out and we'll see what the next objective is. And I think, are you checking out? I think you might be. Yes, you are. Bye-bye, Anjanette Ansel. It's been lovely having you here. We're still on one remaining person. There we go. Right, we got four grand. Thank you very much. I see you're already attracting some paying customers. Now be a darling and set up a kitchen and a restaurant until I'm back. I hate to leave. Uh, I like to leave hungry and so do our esteemed guests. Okay. <laughs> so now, now we need to build a room and add a restaurant. Okay. Right. The restaurant is going to go just here. It's going to be a big ludicrously shaped room because why not? So we'll have that there. And can we have it going? Can we have it just in a really weird... Just in a really ludicrous shape. Why not? We'll just build it in a really silly shape. Oh, uh, well, not from there, we won't, though. Hang on a minute. Grab a wall. Right, bring it round. Like, can we have it going in like a pointy bit like that? For, for no real reason. Like that. And then at the back here, how about here we could have the kitchen? So the kitchen could go like that. Perfect. Okay, uh, right. So that there, that can be, I mean, this. ah, maybe we need a housekeeping area. That would probably make sense, wouldn't it? Right, so that's going to be a restaurant. And that is going to be a kitchen. Okay, make sure the kitchen and restaurant are functional. Right, hang on a second, game. Hang on. So how about over here, we have a little housekeeping area sort of set up over here. Would that then allow us to hire housekeeping staff? Because that might be quite useful because the place is getting a little bit kind of smelly right now. So there we go. We'll do that. So now in there, can we set that as housekeeping? Right, in there, they need a washing machine. I think we can just about cope with that. So, um, do you know what? Let's put two in. Let's go completely mad. I know it's unreachable right now, game. It's okay. Calm, calm, calm. Right, doors. Get us one of the lovely doors. Pop that into there. Uh, we do obviously... Hang on, we'll put a window in so they can let out some steam and such. Right, and then... um. Yeah, so walls. I mean, hot pink. Hot pink implies cleaning. Can we have hot pink floor? That would be brilliant if we could have hot pink flooring as well. Oh, we can't quite have hot pink floor. There you go. <laughs> that looks nice. I like that. That looks okay. And then, does that mean on manage, can we now hire... Ah, you have to have the rooms in first. A housekeeper. Okay, we've got 44 grand. I think we hire Javita Janey, three-star housekeeper. Yes, please. 
in you come. Cost us a bit of money, but now we've got somebody that can go around and actually clean things. <laughs> that is very useful. Okay, and then in manage, we will go to uh, go to there. And what have we got? So receptionist, yes, housekeeper, so a cook and a waiter. Right, let's hire a cook. I kind of would like a. Th have we got a three star cook? Five thousand four hundred. So Catherine Kinsel, you can cook, and then a waiter. I wouldn't mind a three-star waiter. We haven't got a three-star. We can't go down a four-star because they're too expensive. So we'll have to get a two-star waiter. Um, let's get Bart Blodgett. Bart Blodgett sounds good. They sound like a prime waiter. There we go. Right, so we have ourselves that sorted. Right, now we just need to set up the kitchen and the restaurant. However, first things first, let's get a lovely door. Let's get a glass door. Yeah, that one again for the kitchen couple of those just so they've got you know easy travel in and out right and then over in the kitchen kitchen floors probably want to be some sort of tile i would have thought how about uh, there's nothing that over uh, there look there you go hexagonal tiles very nice and then in the restaurant what do we want to have how about we have can we have something really interesting can we have stone on the inside? That might look a bit silly, mine. it? Um, okay, how about that? A lovely magenta. There we go, that'll do. And then the walls and the kitchen can be... Um, what should we go for? I quite like... Hang on, there's, there's much better walls down here. Let's go down here. Wallpaper dots. Yeah, we'll put dots into the kitchen. Because yeah, you want your kitchen wallpaper. That's exactly what you want. Um, and then we'll have... Funky wallpaper large. Yes, please. And the outside of the building can have that on it. Okay. Right. So now, come out of that. What do we need in here? So we need a restaurant table. Um, let's have these ridiculously massive looking ones. Because <laughs> they just look... They look very silly. Ah, and we're going to need to turn off the 90 degree rotation. Because, of course, our room is at a very silly angle. Right. So we'll put that there. We'll have another one there. And then... We'll have a smaller one over uh, this side. Let's put that over there, actually. Put it round on that bend like so. There we go. So we can have three guests if they want to sitting at their own tables. Let's have a slightly smaller seat. Yeah, let's put that there as well, just in case. Okay, good. And now what else do we need? We need some sort of hosting stand. Um, diner weight stand and... Ah, right, hang on. So, we need a place where the people come in and then wait to be seated. Uh, oh, hang on. It's got to go that way round, hasn't it? So, that can go uh, right in the middle. And then a blue moon waits down. Oh, hang on. Are they the same thing? Okay, we'll have both. We'll have one of each. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Wonderful. And then in here, we're going to need many things. Right, is that now it? Yes. It, it's all in. Okay, so f 15 meals. <laughs> Goodness me. Could be here forever. Right, hang on. The, the staff aren't here yet. Oh, but look, two of our guests are, are talking to each other. Oh, that's quite nice. Right, and then the chef is in. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Slow down, guys. Slow down. Where is the chef's hat? Oh, it's not, it's not as big as I thought it might be. It's not a big hat. What did you just do? <laughs> what did you just do with that food? Did you just smack the plate on the side of the... On the side of the thing here. On the side of the serving area. I think you might have done. Did we clean the sheets? Yes. Look at that. The sheets were cleaned. Hooray. And now our person is just stood there. The housekeeper is just standing there. Waiting for something to clean. <laughs> what a life, eh? What a life. This is good. People coming in for breakfast. So getting a lovely breakfast. Getting some bacon and eggs. Or whatever they're having for breakfast. Some pancakes or whatever. So there we go. Right. So breakfast is done. And then we can see housekeeping. Going around the place, doing stuff. Um, hang on. Hang on. Was that the chef in there? No, the chef's over here. I thought I saw the chef over here a second ago, but no, that was the housekeeping person. Okay, so how many meals do we now have to... What? Whoa. Okay, what's happened? I don't know why we just zoomed in. Hire a maintenance worker to protect equipment and facility functionality. Oh, crikey. Right. Okay, it's all gone a bit strange, but right. So we need a maintenance person. Has something... Ah, the, um, the hob has broken. Yes, I can see that now. Uh, right, we do need to get ourselves in a little maintenance room then. Um, okay, that could go... I want to remove that tree. 
<laughs> Can we take the tree out, please? Can we, we can't take the trees out. Where should we put our maintenance room? How about in here? It can be in there and it can have a door there and then a door this side. Yes, let's do that, shall we? Right, okay, wonky walls it is. Um, that can go to there, why not? Then we get some doors and again, we'll have nice doors. We'll have a door there and a door just there. So they don't have to walk all the way around. They can just go straight through. And that can be a maintenance room. So they need a tool shelf. That is it. It's all you need to maintain an entire hotel. Just a shelf. Splendid. Right. Pop that in. Very good. And that does need... Uh, that does need flooring, of course. Of course it does. Um, Let's have raindrops. Because why not? And then on the walls. How about lovely red? Yes, I like that. Right, and then we need to hire a person. So let's go and get us a person. So staff and a maintenance person. Okay, a three-star one would be... We can't afford a three-star one because we only have 4,400 monies. Okay, but well, hang on a second. <laughs> we'll, we'll get a... Do we get a two-star person? Or is that going to bankrupt us? Um, Dennis, in you come. Dennis Dierking, you can come in and hopefully we'll earn loads of money. Although I suspect we might not. Okay, we have two meals left to serve. And we have two people in our little restaurant over here. So there we go. One meal left. And I think when you're done, that will count. There we go. Right, so five grand for completing that. Which is very handy because we were quite poor. What an interesting experience. It's been quite a while since I last tried plebeian food. <laughs> oh, I see. I mean, the jaunty hat would imply that you're not one of the plebeians. Uh, now all this establishment needs is a place to mingle and socialise. I think a bar would do nicely. Okay, the only thing is we haven't got very much money, so the bar might have to be very, very small. It's going to be a very friendly, compact bar where we don't really have very much room at all. Uh, I mean, let's build it out like this. Uh, well, I think I've done that a bit wonky. There we go. We'll have a tiny, tiny... In fact, you know what? We'll have it going down to there, and then we shall remove those wall bits there. We'll have, we'll have the bar looking like this. Right, and then let's have... A bar! There we go. Right, so a bar. So it's going to need a restaurant table and a bar. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can't... I don't think I can fit that in. <laughs> I don't think it fits. Um, no. Okay. Oh, hang on. Yes, it does fit right there, but it's unreachable. <laughs> Okay, right, hang on. Quick revision of this room. Let's try and make it a tiny, tiny bit bigger. Okay, so the room is now a tiny bit bigger. It's just a couple of squares bigger. So that does now fit in properly. However, it has pushed us into negative money, which is not very good. So we'll have just one table, please. We'll have one table over there. That's all we need right now. It's all fine. Now, I think, yeah, we can still buy things. We can still actually buy things. So just for the sake of, you know, appearances, let's get the, um, hang on, that's the walls, isn't it? Let's get the proper outside walls sorted. I know it'll cost us money, but it doesn't look very good. It's not going to look good if we have shoddy walls going on. And then inside, what shall we have? How about purple squiggles? Can we have purple floors? We can call it the purple bar. Yes. There we go. The purple bar it is. And now we just need to build a working bar, which I imagine, if we come out of this, is going to come out of that, is going to require a person. Yes, it's going to require a person to actually go and run the place. Um, okay, Tana Turner. I'm very tempted to get Tana Turner, but I think we just get a two-star person. Uh, Malika Merritt. Um, oh, or Eric Edland. No, Malika Merritt sounds good. She sounds like she knows what she's doing. She can run a bar, my goodness me. Um, yeah, we haven't got much in the way of, of money. Um, it would be nice to get some lights in the bar. That would be, you know, ideal. That would be quite lovely. Can we get any lights in the bar? Um, the wall lights are not... Oh, there we go. It is working. It was just been a bit strange. That's trying to attach itself to the... I don't know what that's doing. Oh, no, it's a table lamp. It's a trying to attach itself to a table. That would make perfect sense. Hang on. So can we put that one on? Grab that one. Put that on there. Oh, okay. That's quite nice. Yeah. Okay. Right. So now we have ourselves. Serve 30 drinks. We've only got two people that stay here because for some reason this bedroom is very unpopular. No one likes it. Um, is it worth... Selling the bed, that will then make this an unusable room. What if we then, because we seem to have infinite money, just put the bed back in? What if we do that? Does that mean that that room is now usable again? 
I would like to think so. Hopefully now somebody can come in and use our third bedroom over here because it's feeling very unloved. Okay, so I've spent some money that we don't have, but of course we'll make it back because the hotel is so wonderful and vibrant and colourful that yeah, we'll make loads of money back from our guests. But uh, yeah, I've added a new room down here, which is a little bit empty right now. It does need some extra bits and bobs. It needs something down here because yeah, the end of the sort of build area is just here. So we couldn't really fit too much in. So it's quite big. It's quite spacious. It's fine. We could put another bed in it, I suppose. Uh, and that's got its own ensuite, which is lovely. And then we've got this little one here, just sort of slotted in right there in this gap between the kitchen and the main sort of corridor bit. So we've got ourselves this nice room here, gone for a sort of a more outdoors theme with this one. So it's got stone floors and wooden walls. So you can kind of pretend you're camping or something if you really wanted to. And I think I saw somebody over here I think I saw somebody in our unloved room, which is quite nice. But there we go. Someone's in there. No one's booked into here yet. Yes, we have four out of five guests. So I think this room here, the little sort of outdoorsy room, is the only one where it's not currently occupied. That's good, because of course, the more guests we have, the more likely they are to go and visit the bar. And then we might get more drinks served. Although I'm thinking they sit at the tables. Hang on. We might need some more tables. Where's bar stuff? Um, Hang on. Uh, a spa. I'd love to put some spa stuff in. I'd love to put some spa stuff in. Right, hang on a minute. Where's the bar? Just there. Um, oh, hang on. Where are those tables? Hang on. Were they restaurant tables? Were they bar tables? Um, can we not have some bar tables, please? We can have one there. Because maybe if there's only one thing, only one person can come in for a drink at any point, which obviously would be silly. So, um, yeah, we'll... Oh, hang on a minute. We've got that set to that. No, not like that. Um, go up against the wall. Oh, crikey, it's, it's not going to fit where I want to do. There we go. Right, let's see if that makes a difference. Does that encourage more people to come to the bar? I don't know. There's one person in there now having a nice drink, so we still need to serve 21 more drinks. <laughs> Oh my goodness me, Rob, we'll just sort of sit and wait then, I think. Do you know what? We're horribly, horribly in debt, but the reviews of our wonderful hotel are looking very good indeed. So Dale DeWeese got great service from lots of people and they had a really great beef. That's good. I like it when you have a nice beef. That's very lovely. And then uh, Jamel Jen has got a super, super smiley face there. They had great service from everybody. Look at that. Lots of great service. Had a really great beef burger. That's all very good. Another beef curry. Uh, a beef noodle soup. I mean, I kind of get the feeling that maybe our menu is predominantly beef based. That's fine. That's okay. We're supporting the local beef economy. That's all very good. But yeah, look, lots of people very happy. All smiley, happy faces. Oh, Kendra Cook down there. Goodness me. Um, has got some sunglasses on hers. What does she say? Uh, she had a really great cake at a restaurant. Yeah, I can understand that. I imagine the chef makes good cakes. A uh, really good beef stew. <laughs> okay. Again, more beef. Um, a really great cake, uh, and a beef burger, and a beef soup. I mean, I, I'm intrigued to know what beef soup is, but okay, it's fine. They had lots of lovely cake and beef. So, you know, things are looking good. The reviews are looking very good indeed. Um, I don't know what that means. I clicked on it, hoping it would be revealing, but, uh, but no, the daily trend is 0.0166671, and the weekly trend is zero. So there we go. I'm sure we've all taken useful information from this. Okay, we need to serve one more drink, and I think that's it. Okay, bar objective is done. 200 of the monies is coming our way. Hick, okay, right, you've been having a few drinks. That's fine. This should increase profits. Now let's see if you can elevate this place enough to get a two-star hotel rating. Make sure your guests are happy to get positive reviews. I mean, I think, I think we've got lots of good reviews, have we not? It says numbers underscore zero remaining, so I'm guessing that's a good thing. I mean, yeah, our reviews are looking pretty positive, as we just took a look at. Our reviews are all happy, smiley faces. So, okay, I mean, let's wait for one person to check out and maybe they'll give us a good review and we'll see what this does. Oh, I think I see what's happening here. I think this is being presented incorrectly. I think this is being a little bit misleading. So down here it says seven remaining, but if you recall, this started at zero. So it started at zero and then every time somebody's left a good review, it's going up by one. So it shouldn't say seven remaining, it should say seven good reviews received or something. There are three remaining from the point that this sort of little objective appeared. Uh, you know, we've had seven good reviews. So that's just, you know, it's fine. It's demo, it's, you know, in development, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's a little bit misleading, but uh, I think we'll get there. I think we will get there. Let's have a little look. How long are people staying for? Can we see? So we've got the four guests. We can kick them out. You know, we'll comp them. I don't know what that means, but it might make them happier. So that's good. So you... Can we see? Can we click and find anything about you? No. Okay, we have to click on you directly like that. You're staying for a couple of nights. 
you are staying for two nights as well. You're staying for one night, so hopefully we'll get another good review from you. And then you, coming into bed at three in the morning, you dirty stop out. Uh, they go three nights. Okay, so it's going to take a while, actually. It's going to take a while for us to get the final three reviews because people are hanging around for a bit because they're enjoying our hotel because it's wonderful. Um, nobody's staying in this room now. I wonder if that is a bit of a bug in the demo that you can never get full occupancy because now people are going into this room, but nobody's going in here. Do you know what? That's fine. Whatever the case. Right, let's just wait for three more positive reviews to come in and then we'll see what happens next. I imagine, I imagine that might be it. In fact, are you, are you checking out? Yeah, you're checking out. So Nichelle Nowles is checking out. So is that going to go up to eight remaining? Well, that was eight remaining. Okay, this is good. And I think these are people checking in, checking in, checking in. Oh, nine remaining. Okay, we only need one more. We only need one more good review and then we're sorted for this. Okay, this is very good. Well, let's just, you know, keep up the good work, everybody. Don't look at the bank balance. Don't, don't look at that at all. Everything is fine. Just ignore this bit down here and just keep on doing your wonderful jobs wonderfully. And there we go. We have got ourselves a two-star hotel rating. We've got our final good review. We will claim that. And I think that's it, is it? Congratulations, number seven. This concludes your test. We don't really have any further use for this plot now, but you can stay a little longer if you want. Thank you for your time. We'll evaluate your application soon. Don't call us. We'll call you. Okay, absolutely. Yes, that's lovely. I hope we do get the job. Well, there we go. I think that's it. I think now we have no more objectives and the yeah, the demo is the demo is sort of over. I mean, there are some things that I am very interested with. I mean, you can put a casino on. That's okay. That's sort of fun. You can put in a spa, which sounds amazing. Do like a spa. You can put in a gym, which I'm not so excited about because, you know, exercise. And you can put in a disco. I mean, the disco. The disco would be amazing to theme out. You could have all these walls here. You could have that wall there. Oh, it'd be amazing. So, um, so yeah, that that's a good thing. It's good they've got these things sort of uh, in readiness for when it actually goes into whatever early access or whatever. But yeah, there's extra bits and bobs that we can have, which is wonderful. So we're not just limited to hotel rooms and eating places. We can have other things as well. So that's a lot of fun. But there we go. The demo is done. I don't think we can do anything else. I mean, you know, we've not made the most profitable place in the world, but... It looks amazing. Look at it. Look at it. Hang on. Can we look at it from up above? I mean, that's just, that's amazing. This bit up here, relatively ordinary. This bit here, unusual. This bit here, all over the place. Angles everywhere, which is, which is splendid. That's kind of what I was hoping for, to have something that wasn't just, you know, regular and boxy and formulaic. It looks all sorts of interesting. But there we go. That's, that's fun. I like that. I do like Hotel Magnate. It's been nice to sort of get back into it and have a bit more of a play with it. It's a shame that I saw down here that I think the um, the curved wall things are disabled for the demo. So yeah, you can have bendy walls if you like. You can have lovely curved walls and round rooms and all that kind of stuff if you want to. You can make that work. So, uh, so yeah, that'll be fun to play with when we come back to it at some point in the future, whenever it might be. Early access, another sort of look at it early on or whatever. I do not know, but we will come back to this. We'll come back to Hotel Magnate because it is a lot of fun. It's very, very good. I do like decorating the rooms. I mean, yeah, even more flooring and wall options would be brilliant. Even more of those would be amazing. But uh, but yeah, we'll come back. We'll see how we get on at some point in the future. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard, as well as keeping up to date with Hotel Magnate when we return to it at some point in the future, whenever that might be. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. He's gone down the lift, even though they're not built. The lifts aren't finished. People, people, this is very dangerous. Martin said it's fine and gave me a negative review. You silly man, Martin. You've clicked the wrong button. It looked like he had no trousers on, which was a little bit strange. Oh, Linda, with your gleaming golden words of appreciation. Linda says, eh, okay, hotel.